Hi, this is Sean, and I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to use a mask so that you can blend your pictures like this um, in digital scrapbooking, specifically in the My Memories Suite software. I had purchased a few of the masks, and I was having problems just putting them straight into the program. So what I found was you can work with them in Photoshop, turn them kind of into an element, almost like a digital sticker, and then apply that to your um, digital scrapbook page. There's a couple different tip sites that I think you're going to need. One um, is at Everyday Digital Scrapbooking. I have the link to this on my site also. And this does a really great step-by-step -step of how to combine the picture with the masks. Um, then once you've combined it, you're going to need to make the background transparent. So then this at Media um, College is a great how-to. Again, link on my site. But I literally put these two links up while I'm doing it so that if I go, okay, what step did I forget? I can go right back to it. Okay, so open Photoshop. We're going to find the picture we want to use and then um, open up the mask that we want to use. So that's two separate files that you're going to have open. The next step is to drag the photo onto the photo mask. Okay, so you're going to click on the picture and you get the little, it says background over here, and you're going to literally just drag that over the photo mask. And my drag wasn't very good because it didn't like center up, but let's try that again much better. Okay, so then the next step says to select control G. So we're on here. And if we go control G, see how it masked out um, the outer edge? It looks so cool. Okay, sorry I get excited. Um, then to use this in a layout, you're going to have to select layer merge visible. So in Photoshop we're going to go up here to layer and merge visible. Don't ask me why all of these steps are important. They just are and um, now the next step on hers says to simply drag it into your layout. That's if you're using other digital scrapbooking programs. With my memories I found you have to make this into like I said a digital sticker. So you have to make this checkerboard part transparent. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, we're going to go back to our picture and we want to use the magic wand tool to select the area we want to be transparent. So in our little picture we're going to use the magic wand and click on the part we want transparent and see how it did like a little dashed outline of all of that checkerboard stuff. That means it's now going to be transparent. Well, let's, we want this to. Oops, let me hold shift and then I can, there we go, magic wand, all of that there. So now I have all of those little spots transparent. Next step, you hit delete and it's going to delete that from the picture, I guess. I Again, I don't get what this stuff does. I just follow the directions on here. Okay, so it doesn't really look like it deleted it. Okay, now let's just hit delete again and make sure. So then we have an element that we're going to be able to use. We're going to have to save this down to um, 
a PNG I have found is the best. Um, a JPEG format does not support the transparency. So now we're going to take this image that we've all edited and go File, Save As. Um, I have a special folder that I put all my altered masked pictures in so that I don't end up putting them on top of saving over a, a picture that I want to keep because I want to be able to keep this image up here you know the original so I, I want to save it separate okay so making sure that we save it as a PNG file I'm going to call this one hockey circle and save. And we click OK. And now it's doing its stuff and saving. And my next little video will show you how to insert this into your My Memory Suite um, program.